Hey everybody, welcome back to Nuclear Thrones. So today, we're gonna do the weekly. It is Sunday, it is weekly week. The weekly this week is horror with the crown of risk, which is more drops when at full HP, less drops when not. And of course, the energy sword. Of course it is, why wouldn't it be? A run that I enjoy very much, I'll tell you why. Having, um, having an energy sword to start with horror, pretty good, it's pretty good. More so over that, having horror in a weekly without crown of blood, Anomaly all the way, every day, all day. Uh, I should have grabbed the energy there actually, because the pop gun, I don't really care too much about. We'll pick it up anyway, and we'll start with the back muscle. Because I think having a lot of ammo to um, to play with is going to be super important for us. But yes, we took a cursed weapon. We can't uncurse this for a very long time, but it's fine. It's okay. I'll show you why soon. I wouldn't get too worried about it right now, but uh, it's Father's Day today. I've snuck off. I should be I should be waiting for I know the whole family's round. I was like, I was like, I'll be back in a minute. I have important work to tend to. <laughs> and here we are. Okay. Not bad, not bad. So we're gonna take a, a strong spirit. By my grandpa's here, my grandpa's brought his girlfriend. My grandpa at the age of 78 has uh, has a girlfriend now. So it's, it's nice to see, you know, it's nice to see the older generations getting in there, you know. Find a bit of love. You can just have a, a lot of that shit. There we go, one for you. Coming in big! So I think we'll definitely want to get the energy here. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. And, um... I think we'll take the bolt matter. I think we shall. Very good. Now, the reason we'll take the bolt marrow and the reason we took the cross weapon in the first place, I'll show you actually. Ah. I don't like this sewers, actually. I remember now that this sucks. I'm gonna be kind of aggressive here. Boom! A favorable build, boys! Favorable build. In fact, everyone gets the same build, you know, it's a seed, but still. The only thing I would say is if you're playing this seed, if you're doing the weekly after you watch this video, um, try and get to level 4 before you hit, hit the sewers, that was bad. Um, get to level 4 before you hit the sewers, because if you get level 3 and hit the sewers, you'll get a different seed and you won't get the auto crossbow, so just make sure you level up to level 4. Um, before you hit the sewers, and you'll get your auto crossbow. Not bad, not bad at all, it's the good stuff, it's the good life. It's exactly what we come to, it's exactly what we play for, you know, energy swords and auto crossbow is the dream. My favourite type of run, my favourite type of build. Now, how did I know to stop there at that time? How did I know? Well, I would have stopped anyway, but I knew that it was going to be there because I timed it, you see. I've had a few goes at this now, so I know exactly what I'm doing with the mutations. Which is good, which is nice. So now we have the two weapon specifics that suit our two weapons perfectly. And the dream now will be just keeping our head above the water, keeping our health high. And we'll be fine. And we're going to be very aggressive and try and get as many rads as we can. Oh, fuck. Keep your health high, but nah, just walk into the bullets like a big old idiot. It's fine though. It's okay. We won't be too worried about it. The, um, the back muscle is going to really play a big part in this. Having that extra amount of energy there is the difference between death and not death sometimes, you'll see. Get out of that car. And we're just going to shred the big dog like a, a pulled pork. There we go, pulled big dog. That's what it's all about. Next mutation. What we got, what we seen, what we seen. Scare your face. Don't mind if I do. So I want to be reasonably aggressive here as well, just because there's a lot of rads to get here and we can get a couple of levels. And you, you can be, you can be fairly aggressive. You've got your rad beam when it's not, you know, when you've not just leveled up. When you've got rad spare and you've got the energy sword, you can take the walls for cover. The only thing is you need to be careful that you don't get telefragged by one of these fuckers. You wouldn't get fried anyway, it would just proc your strong spirit, but still, you don't want to be taking that damage. Fuck. I need to remember I don't have trigger finger shit either. So there is a lightning hammer if that so tickles your fancy. My fancies are not tickled, they're firmly untickled. Yes, please. Don't mind if I do. Not bad at all. So the second stomach there, there is a bloodlust apparently. I've not found it myself, but 
then again, I haven't really been too experimental with the, the mutations. This is about the furthest I've gone experimentation-wise with the back muscle and the second stomach. But it seems to fit the build quite well. So I got loop 2, like, halfway through last time. That was on stream, though, and I wasn't really... I was more doing a scout for mutations than anything else. So this is the actual run that I'm trying. Hopefully. I say I'm trying. We'll see. <laughs> Remains to be seen. But, I mean, look at our mutations, though. They're very, very nice indeed. Coupled with the fact that we're going to get Anomaly as well. Not bad. Not bad at all. One for you, sir. One for you. Very nice. Grab the bolts, because we're going to be spamming a lot of these in the coming levels. But our ammo's going to pretty much hold tight. It's not going to really drop too low. Um, certain levels will, like boss fights, potentially. Um, you know, the sewers. Kind of sucks. All we need to do is just make sure we're taking our time. Um, and not worrying about ammo. Oh my god. Why are you down that fucking hole, you dick? Like, why would he find the smallest hole to go down? What an arsehole. <laughs> it's fine though. It's okay. We got hit like once. I can take that. I, I can accept that hit once. So what would be the one mutation that would really round off this run? What would it be? Of course it is! Of course it is! The trigger fingers, the racing mind. Does the job. So far, so good. Something died. At least. There we go. Very good. Starting to run low on bolts. We'll just switch over to the energy sword. Because, you know, we can. Because that's something we can't do. <laughs> well within our right to do so. Yeah, levels like this kind of suck for ammo as well, of course. Never ideal. There's nothing up the top. I'm going to have a drink quickly. Not bad. Not bad at all. We're moving at record fucking breakneck speed. So I want to be fairly aggressive with these dogs because they sometimes drop a double. Like a health and an ammo or two ammos. Shit. That's bad. I really didn't think he'd hit me there. That's nice. And that's why we have the second stomach as well. Alright. So we'll definitely get our anomaly at the end of the next level. I need to be super careful that I don't die though. Ah, oh, that would have been death if he'd spawned a ball in my face. One health pack's all I want. Just the one. Okay, we're not being very lucky with the health packs here, but... It'll be fine. Once we get back to full health, we can probably maintain it. As we go into late loop 2 and onwards. So anomaly is good. Grab the bolts. It's not a lot of ammo. It's not a lot of ammo at all, and we don't have many rads. I think we'll be okay. It shouldn't be too bad. The game will drop ammo, like, it's, it's absolutely going to drop at least one ammo pack during this fight. Minimum. Alright. Who's, who's first? If one gives me a health pack straight up, we'll be, um, we'll be very, very lucky. Ah, good. Perfect. Now we're going to get lots of ammo. Nice. It's all about staying up full health, so that's why the um, the second stomach is pretty good. There we go. Lots of ammo. Uh, 
And I think we'll do a little farm here, try and get ourselves as high as possible. Nice. Try and get as much of this shit as possible. Good. Fairly, fairly, fairly good fight. And we're going to use all our rads here on this. And it's going to shred this throne too. Very quickly. Dead. Ha. Ha! Nice. And on to loop two. I mean loop one. Loop two. I wish it was loop two. Loop two in, in ten minutes. Eleven minutes almost would be record breaking. And that's why we like the anomaly that is. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not bad. Does the job. So we want to be fairly aggressive in these levels just so we can prop the anomaly straight up. You want to get in there. Fingers and eyeballs. Energy swords and faces. The usual kind of stuff. Nah, balls. It's that, it's that fly, I tell you. In fact, there's a bunch of maggots. And that's what I'm talking about, full ammo, that's that's the good shit. That is the hot sauce on the burrito, the bob and the weave. The game's talking to me and it's saying nice things. Whispering sweet nothings in my ear. So the big bandits died before they even got to spawn because I hate big bandits and they know that. They um, they took the message, they took the hint and they fucked off. Well prepared, well prepared indeed. So not so easy to get the um, the anomaly prop, we're going to have to try and rush down Balmum because she has the highest health on the level of course. So the sooner she dies, the better we'll be and she is down here which is nice. It's in a nice little cubby hole for me. There we go. That'll do, that'll do. That'll do nicely. The only downside to this run is the fact that there is no crown of blood. Really? Well, that was surprisingly good. But that's the thing, if we hold full health... Oh, I didn't get the rad canister. I need to be careful of that, because if I spawn a horror, it could be... Potentially... Devastating. How oh, good, we got the health back as well, perfect. Sludge pools. our first van. <laughs> there we go. Big dog's dead. And we are firmly in the driving seat, boys. Total control. Total control. So I reckon we'll get to loop two by about 20 minutes in. Um, given the pace we're going, I think we'll be quite all right. Just need to be a bit safe about what we do. That was very close. So you get the anomaly here is not as easy as, you know, other levels. Because the hyper crystal and the way the levels usually laid out. At least we get the van spawn. It's potentially bad. See, what I want to do is kill all the peripheral... Ah, there we go. Now we're, now we're good. Now we're good. Dead. D-E-A-D. -E Dead. Nice. Over a thousand kills. We're on the board, boys. We're on the board. So I think my rank right now is like 30 odds. 34-ish. That was only halfway through loop two. Um, if we hit loop three and get pretty far in, we'll probably be top ten. Which is generally the aim. If I can get top 10, I'll be happy. I 
That's going to involve a lot of safe and steady plays. Should we get that beam in there more as well? Just for extra damage, I suppose. There is no Yeti. We know that to be not true now. We know the Yeti does exist. Fuck. Nice. Nice. I'm actually playing rather well today, I think. I feel like I'm playing rather well, at least. So I'm not going to worry too much about the, the small dog. We'll go for the big dog instead. Presents a higher health amount. Is there really like a whole other bit to this level that I missed? No, oh, there is, I. We can get both the golden tanks. Yeah, good. Anomaly should proc. Alright. Onwards and indeed upwards. So the little hunter fight. Um, this arena kind of sucks. Ah, oh, shit. No, no. Ah, oh, fuck, balls. Shit. Okay. Oh, no. Why? I need to get my health back. It's going to be a hard job to get health back. This will probably help towards it, at least. Fuck. Yes. Okay, that was a little bit risky. I, I just after saying I was playing well, I got fucking scummeried. But we're fine. We're okay. We're alive and well. It's Father's Day, let's not get annoyed. Ah, oh, this is gonna suck. I forgot how shitty this level is. Right, aggressive plays are all we can do here. We've got a high concentration of um, Technomancer. Right, nothing can come from below me, which is kind of what I was aiming for. Generally, what I like to do in a level like this is get low enough so the backstab can't come in. And then from there, you can just, uh, you know, kind of linearly move up or down. That's good. Gets out of the way at least. And that's one of the delights about the um, the weekly is having that foresight into where you should be going, what you should be doing, where you want to be, where you want to be standing, where you want to run to, where you want to hide. You can know by, you know, playing, scouting it out, seeing what's what. I'm being pretty aggressive here, but it's for a good cause. It's for a good, it's for a good reason. I want to get in there and get the stuff and make sure I've got health. When we get to loop two, it's going to be different. I'm actually going to take a step back and not fuck with the shit. Nice. Man, these palace spawns are always so fucking nutty. They can be tough to deal with. I think we want the bolts for this. 
All right, we have full health. We've got full rads. Um, we should hopefully get back to full ammo fairly quickly. Some more energy there. Perfect. Okay. So we'd have full ammo, essentially, if we didn't have back muscle. Good. Perfect. And again, that's why we like the back muscle here. Works fairly well. When ammo can be a problem, it's nice to get a, a lot of ammo. And kind of the synergy between back muscle and anomaly. So I've said this many times before. When you have anomaly and everything at the end of the level dies, it tends to drop a lot of health and ammo. Which you then get with like a kind of Pluto effect as well. So you don't really need to take Pluto or Rabbit Paw when you've got anomaly. Or at least I'd, I've never felt like I had to. Um, I've never been to look four with it though. I've only been as far as look three. So I don't know if that would make uh, a big difference or not. But certainly up in two and then halfway through loop three, I've never had a problem with it. So I would imagine it holds through. Yeah. It's really not what I wanted to do there. <laughs> Try and farm a little. See if we can get some health or something. Nice. Okay. Not bad. So everything's going to die in this level as it begins. As it does. And we'll spam this sucker down again. You should die in like the next one, two... Yeah. Okay. Easy. Do we get the rads back? Yeah, we get some back. Okay, lip two. This is where it starts to toughen up a little. So we're going to take a bit more... Uh, we're going to take our time a little. Not too long, so I don't want the vans to spawn, of course. What I really want is... Not normally proc to happen soon. There. I kind of forced the issue there, but it's okay to do so. If we're quick enough, we might actually get some more ammo, if there is any. Nah, okay. That's fine, though. That's not bad. The Brute Force. I think from here we'll kind of slow it down a little, maybe. Nice. What's that there? The you. So this level's full of golden scorpions, if I remember correctly, which we're never going to kill in time. For a decent timed anomaly. I don't, oh, hello. Okay, steady. Get rid of you. Grab that. Nice. Perfecto. That'll do nicely. What do we have in here? Um, nah, nothing that I really care about. Nothing we need, nor want, nor desire. So far, so good. So if we just keep the pressure on. The 2,000 kills is fast approaching. If we get the big bandit spawn soon. Bam them down. No fear. Just give them a good scene to the horror way. The only way I know how. <laughs> the good stuff. The good stuff. The chaos. I mean, obviously it'd be more chaotic with Crown of Blood. But it's much the same with this build. Whether you've got Crown of Blood on or not, it's going to be roughly about as easy. Because the all crossbow pierces, energy sword can hit multiple enemies. You're not going to find too many problems with this build if I had Crown of Blood. You know, it's fine. It's fine. I find about the same equivalency and difficulty. Because, of course, you've got the anomaly as well, which removes a certain number of enemies from levels. Right, so the key here is getting Bomb Mom dead as soon as possible. 
This is a. Di I don't recognize this level actually. This is weird. This is somewhat different to what it was before. Or is it the same? I'm not sure. Ah, oh, balls. Fucking green rats, man. The worst part about this level is the green rats, by far. Nice! I didn't even know that was there, but that's cool. I'll take it. So I never done Turtle Land last time. Oh, fuck me. Oh, wait, that's perfect, actually. Wait, why don't I do Turtle Level with Anomaly? I really should, shouldn't I? I'm gonna have a, so while we've got a second, let's take a drink and relax. So are we over 2,000 kills at this point? I think we are. We are indeed. Not bad at all. Just the ticket. Right, so. Oh my god. Like, no delaying his fucking scummy buff gator shot. Oh no! No, no. Okay, we get our strong spirit back at least. Um, I don't think we got as much ammo as we could have possibly got there, but it's fine, it's okay. I need to be smart about this now. No, 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 no. What are these salty grenades all about? About bloody time! About bloody time. Did I get the rad canister? I hope I did. Because having anomaly, I mean, having anomaly, having um, horror spawn would kind of suck. Nice. It's very good. Big dog now. Shouldn't be too hard. Just to get my couple of tickles with this fella here. Oh, aye, we definitely want to get that. Okay. Onwards and indeed upwards. I think I might have... I think I might have gone further than my uh, best run so far. I hate these spawns, man. They're so bullshitty. Right. We'll deal with these suckers first. And then we can deal with the rest of the level. Oh, don't tell me it's down here, is it? So is there nothing up here? Nah, there's not at all. Balls, well, I guess we're just doing it the old-fashioned way then, boys. Waiting for the vans to spawn, killing the fucking police. Shit. Less than satisfactory, but it's okay. Nice. I should die soon. With the energy sword, it doesn't stand a chance. Okay then, and on to the frozen city. Very good. And this is why we want the auto crossbow, or any kind of ranged weapon really. So when it comes to the Frozen City, I like to kind of take a step back, and just let the level unfold. Because I find if I rush here, running gun style and here usually ends in death. There's just so many enemies to keep up a handle on. Oh my god. No, no. I like traced the bullets perfectly, which was kind of silly of me. See what I mean though? It can become very, very scary very, very quickly. If you're not careful. 
I would love a health pack. If the game can find me one, that would be pretty cool. Oh no! It's fine. In fact, is that bolts? Did I pick those up? I did. I want to make sure I'm walking over weapons as well, just to ensure that I have maximum ammo at all times. Or at least as most ammo as I can have. Right, we're now going to use walls to our advantage. Nice. If we can get a health pack soon, I'll feel happy. Oh no! Oh. I deserve at least a health pack at some point, game. You know you want to. I think we might wait for the anomaly, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Balls! Oh, I fucked it. I fucked it. I fucked it. I should have got to loop 3 then anyway. 26. I can do loop 3. I'll probably try another time tonight, maybe, after maybe a couple of glasses of wine. That was a decent run. It wasn't the best run I've ever had. But, um, a top, uh, top 26. It's okay. Could, could be a little better. I mean, I think it's possible to get in the top 10. So, chubby, I could, I could get a score kind of similar to that, I reckon. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, all the usual good stuff. And I will see you next time.